those recordings are disturbing and honestly they're a shame for society as rich as Quebec. Now, how come someone in charge of a of an establishment that is supposed to care for elderly people is goes to the emergency public line to get staff to to, to take care of the residents. That's that's unbelievable. I mean, it, it's it's unbelievable, and it's a failure of the Quebec system. Who's responsible at the last level for that system? It's François Legault. So Mr. Legault cannot take credit for what goes well and throw people under the bus for what goes wrong. Either he's responsible for the Quebec dealing of the pandemic, either he's not. So it's a lack of courage to say what went well is because of me and my team, but the worst of the worst of the worst, we have nothing to do with this. It, it's a lack of courage. You were saying um, that Mr. De Gaulle is washing his hands from responsibility. Yeah. Um, he blamed Madame McVeigh, essentially. Um, so, so who's who's at fault? Are you saying that Mr. Le Gaulle, it, it just ends with him, starts with him, and ends with him? Well, at the end of the day, the box stop at Mr. Le Gaulle. But we need to know who was responsible for what. And in order to know that, we need a public transparent inquiry. That's what we've been asking for for months now. Um, and what I, uh, what I witnessed yesterday is a premier that says at each occasion he has, for example, the vaccination campaign. It went well because we have a wonderful team and we're very good. But when a tragedy happened, then he, he, he's looking for someone to blame for the failures. So either you're responsible for the Quebec dealing of the pandemic or you're not. You, you cannot only take credit for what went well. You have to assume that some things went wrong. You have to accept that you have answers to give and you have to accept to put in place the necessary transparent process to find the answers to those questions. And that's a public inquiry. Excellent. And, and that's how democracy is supposed to work. <laughs>